my first interest and the society's interest came about when Dr. Patterson came from Fredericton and talked about the aftermath of uh, the fire of 1812 and how New Brunswick recovered architecturally. And uh, it, most important in the Miramichi was William Murray, who happened to be a working uh, carpenter and architect at the time. He had come from Scotland in 1819 as a 30-year-old, uh, obviously very uh, well-versed in his craft because he went to work right away and uh, and was around, of course, when the fire happened and burned the buildings and he was in position to, to take up the work to reconstruct the Miramichi in part. One of the buildings that he worked on was the United Church. It was the St. James Presbyterian at the time. It had burned been finished in 1825, burned to the ground, first building to be burned in Newcastle, and reconstructed in 1829 by Murray. Uh, since that time, which is coming up to almost 200 years ago for the building itself, uh, it has been recognized by international architects. There's been articles written about it. We've had people come to take pictures of it as a a, an example of a white pine building across Canada. So it has some renown. And uh, Dr. Patterson talked about how um, Murray was instrumental in building that building, plus a number of others around. And incidentally, Patterson is a, a descendant of William Murray. So we got interested that way and thought that maybe it was time to pull together all the information that we had on Murray uh, which wasn't a whole lot, but we knew about his buildings, and we threw the idea out to the Historical Society. Charlotte took up the challenge with me, and we've been working on it ever since. We did research, we have visited the buildings, we have talked to people, and we, our first idea was a calendar as a, as a fundraiser, perhaps, for the Society. And, uh, but as soon as we got into the research, we realized we had far more than, than a calendar on our hands.